Father. Those who know you can know what is the most. And so the one who will be found knows the most, the whole supposed to. Now, it's important to know that the question of the most was ordained to be found in the by still being disputed and debated around this time. Now, it's not very clear that there's any a clear date, but unless there is too much in the looking or I think it's down here. Yeah, we really don't understand that or understand the word really. When exactly the order was founded. Some insist it was founded in the year 81 AD upon the orders of Pope Anathe, one of the earlier popes of Christendom, who assigned the custody of Christ's tomb to a contra fraternity of hermits who constructed forerunners or constituted as forerunners to the present order. Now, other sources point to 1099, Jerusalem fell to the first crusaders, first crusaders who reached the Holy Land. The legend of this order emerged around this date, yet it was really uncertain. Christian warriors desired tokens of knighthood in this order. To them, it was a special devotion to this sacred spot where Jesus was laying to rest. Of course, this is shown in the case of one Godfrey de Bouillon, one of the crusader leaders. Bouillon refused the uh, crown to the king of Jerusalem. Instead, he settled for the title of defender of the Holy Sepulchre. That he accepted. As time went on, knights who received the institutional investiture at the Holy Sepulchre and constituted it as guards were, proved, were approved by the papal bull or the bull of appropriation or approbation by Pope Pascal II in 11. 93 AD. Donations to the Holy Sepulchre were in were made in areas such as Palestine and Egypt, or actually Europe, excuse me. Now this included King Alfonso of Aragon, who willed a third of his kingdom, a third of his kingdom as a donation to the order in 1134 AD. Now Pope Celestine presented to those knights in 1144 AD an oratory of Saint Egidio or Egidio. It had an active role the long struggle to maintain the existence of the Latin kingdom that is Jerusalem. Before its fall, they continued to fight the Muslims and those that were considered non-believers. Its fall forced this order to return to Europe. Well, the members who were knights returned to Europe after Jerusalem's fall to the Saracens. Our communities were founded 
in countries such as France, Belgium, Germany, and Poland. In dedication to the order, the duties of this order were passed over to others, such as the Franciscan monks, who were entrusted with custody of the Holy Land. They continued to bestow guardianship to the Pope, Leo X, at this time. Of course, his confirmation was given permission as guardianship. However, in 1847, it went to the rebirth and reestablishment of the Patriarch by Pope Pius the Ninth. And its office of Grand Master was transferred from Costos to the Patriarch. As years went on in 1868, new statutes were approved. And these statutes created three classes of knights. In 1888, Pope Leo VIII. Oh. Authorized conferring of women into the order, who were to be styled as dames of the Holy Sepulchre. Now, in 1907, Pope Saint Pius X took office of the Grand Master and suspended from the military trophy. So it was not really required to be a military order at this time. Well, we'll have a part two for this next week. You have a good one. Bye.